Good morning, everybody. I don't know how to start uh, my speech because there are too many dignitaries here around, and here I have to take their names. It will take such a long time. So uh, I will just, uh, you know, uh, read out something that I have prepared. I stand before you all to say a few things about my experiences and the knowledge that I possess about Mr. Dawa Seringla, who I first met in the year 2012 when he was in Dehradun on an official visit. I won't delve into the details of why I went, him, meet, went to meet him for reasons such as ethics and privacy, but nevertheless, the talk that I had with him during those few moments left me with a huge impact and several months later, I found myself working alongside with him as the secretary of Quinton Center. A personality with a photogenic appearance due to his middle parting Amitabh hairstyle, but uh, now it has changed. <laughs> Matched equally with a rose energy and enthusiasm, a multi-talented personality with the ability to handle more than 20 organizations, cook six or seven cuisines at the same time, Organized gatherings in a wink of an eye, I have been learning little by little as each day unfolds about his selfless nature and character which never ceases to amuse me. One morning he is at the temple, it is difficult to escape his glare or fool him around. I have seen him doing community services such as cutting others' hair, cooking, sewing, digging earth, cleaning garbage and toilets, giving bath to mentally challenged, challenged persons, carrying sacks of bricks and sand, conducting managers for the recovered youths and help them settle a family life, doing yoga and running up the stairs with us, entertaining us, holding talks with us, meeting different Tibetan and Indian officials, attend numerous meetings and attend to the orga other organizations that he helps. I have not seen him returning anyone empty-handed who comes to him for help. I possibly do not know what to say about him. He can be found in the office as early as 5 a.m. or as late as 10 or 11 p.m. I cannot comprehend what he is. I just call his office as the 24-hour office. It is no doubt that he has done a lot of social services and has been a pioneer to introduce a number of programs for the benefit of the community during the different posts that he has held so far and I do believe much of you have more knowledge than me about the services that he has rendered. So today I will limit myself here specifically to talk about talk a little about the work that he has done with regards to substance abuse and addiction and how he has changed my life and touch the lives of others that have been victims of substance abuse. I am a recovering addict and it would be imperatively logical and relevant that I delve and enlighten you all into the subject which matters. I will try to keep my praise to him as minimal as possible because in the past I have seen him getting uncomfortable and embarrassed when I brief visitors and the center's well wishes about the work that he has done in the community. But sometimes it becomes necessary to highlight the much valued contributions that he has made in his lifespan so that it becomes an inspiration for others to follow. Prior to drafting this speech, I had thought of documenting his years of service, but due to the sheer volume and the countless number of organizations that he is involved with, it made this task daunting and near to impossible. So I've just settled down on the subject of addiction. I'm pretty much sure that most of you who are present here today have, may have benefited in one way or the other from him. Mr. Dawala took over the directorship of Kunfe Center in the final months of 2013, but it has come to my knowledge lately that he had been associated with this work much earlier before the foundation of Kunfe Center. During his tenure as the mayor of the Ramsala, he had opened his heart and his home to welcome the youths with much love and general addiction and his passion and interest for helping challenge youths, mostly unemployed and with problems of substance abuse, brought us together. Over the years, since my first acquaintance with him from that meet, he has provided me with his con constant guidance, companionship and a considerable amount of moral and spiritual support to deal with my hardships. The amount of devotion, time and everything are inspiring. Mr. Dawa has been one of the most active and vocal voices in re recent times to advocate and educate the community about the disease of addiction. 
His far-sightedness regarding the future of our community and nation evokes a different facet of his mentality. Indeed, each and every single Tibetan youth are the future of Tibet, and it seems more important and emergent to, ad to address this issue by each and every member of the community before time runs out, or otherwise we may end up like China did in the 18th century during the Opium War in the past. On a greater level, Hong Kong was ceded to the British as a consequence of opium trade rights. Of course, we are refugees at the present and will not face such losses, but it would threaten the whole fabric of our identity and cause of Tibet as a nation. China, a huge entire nation, was wrecked by addiction to opium and they had to face loss on all counts. Mr. Dawala has foreseen this kind of situation and consequences might prevail and so he has been urging the community to take the responsibility and come forward to save our youths. The scenario is still grim in the Tibetan society regarding the acceptance of addiction as a disease. It is a taboo which makes people uh, less inclined to seek treatment and bear the consequences. But I see the faint hint of changes that is sweeping in the community due to the frequent awareness programs that Dawala conducts. Along with the revival of Kunfen Center, he has opened and maintained an aftercare facility with his own personal expenses, which saves around 180,000 rupees for the center annually. So far, 39 youths have been sent to rehabilitation centers for treatment since he took over, and in 2016, there were 13 clients at one point of time in the aftercare center. At least 30 persons have benefited from the center is meant to act as a safe heaven for the ones who have completed their treatment and is one of the most crucial and sensitive areas of support that an addict or an alcoholic needs before joining the mainstream society. He has raised funds for the center and for our own group which is known as the Hunt Center. It is currently under progress at the back of New Tibetan Reception Center in Lower Dharamsala and will be completed in the month of June or July. Mr. Dawala has over the years provided me with a lot of encouragement and ideas and it has been a great inspiration and a learning experience for me. I would like to thank him for my well-being and my gratitude also goes to his wife, sons and daughters as well who treat me like one of their own family members. They have sacrificed their privacy and have accepted me and I never ever felt alone. No wonder they are fondly called Pala and Amla by the inmates of Kunfen Center. Their love empowered and equipped me with a sense of courage and strength that behind every successful man, there is a woman. Thank you, Mrs. Jamba Chotenla, for being a source of sustenance and energy for enabling him to achieve and execute all the work he has done so far. I thank Dawala, Mr. Dawala, on behalf of all the addicts and alcoholics that are suffering and those that are on the path of recovery throughout the Tibetan community. I thank Yeh Kherap Tarchinla, all the individuals here, the different organizations that has come together to host this award and uh, ceremony. I thank all of you that have participated in this ceremony. Thank you everyone.